This is Twit. Uh, I'm using, uh, in addition to going a little bit nuts buying tape recorders, uh, I'm also trying to, I'm, I'm, every three years I get the bug in my ear that, you know, the re reason why you don't do videos is because you're terrible at doing videos. Uh, I don't know how to write for video and I don't know how to edit video. So every two or three years, you know, you should now just buckle down and maybe the new tools that you that you see around will be, be handy. Uh, inspired uh, in no small part by our friend Rene uh, and <laughs> the cool stuff that he's doing with video. Um, so uh, I've actually been... Uh, Playing with uh, Blackmagic Design, who you've been, who's been made so famous through so many of Alex's picks uh, that make those really great red cameras. Uh, they also have an editing suite called DaVinci Resolve 16. Uh, and uh, it's I've chosen it as the one that I'm going to sort learn and relearn stuff on for a couple of reasons, because they have uh, a junior edition that only is missing the super pro stuff. And that's and it's free for downloading. Uh, and the if you actually do buy the uh, DaVinci Resolve 16 Pro, it is a flat 300 bucks, no subscriptions, no need to log in, no need to do anything. Uh, and what uh, what uh, I, two things about it have really impressed me that uh, because I'm uh, because I'm definitely a noob I appreciate not being confused by stuff that I don't know how to use yet so it actually has a mode called cut which is almost like having a having imagine if final cut also had iMovie built into it so if you said that uh, hey I'm such a I'm such a hot professional that I'm live editing a commercial uh, as a comp for somebody I need this done in 5 minutes or if you're someone like me who says, I need you to take away the stuff that's going to stop me from getting things finished. It really does simplify the interface. It really does simplify the workflow. The other thing I liked about it uh, is that it, uh, I am nowhere near sophisticated enough to understand color grading and to understand things like uh, Adobe Premiere effects, motion effects, stuff like that. But I do understand those buzzwords and I understand how important they are for uh, full featured editing. And I love the fact that even the free edition has those features built in. So once I get into a rhythm of uh, where simply shooting something and editing it is no longer a uh, desperate hellscape of, of confusion, I can grow. I feel like I can grow into this. Uh, and the, the, lastly, um, I, I have not lost my instinct for favoring a multi-platform solution over an Apple only solution. Not that Final Cut isn't wonderful, but there uh, and who knows what's happening in the next two or three years. I don't I don't anticipate leaving Mac at all, but uh, in uh, two or three years, maybe my needs will be such that I will I want to have the 16 core i9 processor in a box for all the really really heavy intensive stuff that I do and for that CPU, I will want to get to maximize my money by getting a Windows box instead of getting a, a Mac Pro. And then I'll be very, very pleased that I chose a solution that will run on Windows. It'll also run on Linux. It'll run on whatever you have. So I, I do instinctively like the idea of a multi-platform solution. But for most people, it's just going to be a good way to get something that's on the level of Final Cut Pro, but for free, because it's it's heartbreaking to uh, it's heartbreaking to want to get into a new thing and then be stymied by, oh, but I don't know if I can make use of a $150, $200, $300 app or a subscription app like uh, like Adobe Premiere. This allows you to really just mess around with things and see, uh, try this, try the shoes on, walk around a bit and see if they fit. Very nice. It's so good, too. A lot of the pros use it. The color grading is amazing. It's an oh, really? excellent, excellent app. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. And the fact that they're giving it, they're giving it away is pretty amazing, right? Yeah. Yep. And like Andy yep. said, the dongle version is – actually, they got rid of the dongle. Up until very recently, you had to actually have a dongle <laughs> to use the pro version. It, it really is like very – like Alex Lindsay features that you're missing. Yeah. I don't think you most don't people would even notice <laughs> that they're not the there. You don't need the dongle version. Yeah, and we I we use a lot of Blackmagic stuff. I, I've been – I'm setting up a home studio, which I'm going to do an Ask the Tech Guy about, with the A10 Mini Switcher, 300 bucks. Um, you know, the black magic converters, which will turn my, uh, my fancy DSLRs into webcams. And it's just really, <laughs> it is, it's pretty exciting what you can do. I think black magic deserves a lot of credit for, uh, making pro video, uh, affordable. So, and DaVinci. The magic part of their name free. is accurate.